This is Ian from Lean Media. Today I'm going to be talking about creating a hardcover book in Amazon KDP. If this video helps you, please take a moment to like it and follow me, and let's get started. Now, what we're going to be doing is we have an existing paperback book in KDP, and we're going to be creating a hardcover book based on the KD KDP book that's already there, the paperback version. You will need a few assets before you get started. I have already prepared them. They're basically, you need the metadata. And when I say metadata, that means information such as the ISBN, uh, title information. I keep that in a text file. But there's also some other files you're going to need. One of them is the interior file for the hardcover edition. That's this file right here. So here it is. And then the other one is actually the cover. Uh, this cover I have designed by a professional designer using the Amazon KDP template. If you haven't gotten started on these steps, you need to uh, figure it out now. You need to get an interior PDF and you also need to get a cover PDF. So I, I'm, I'm an independent publisher. I work with professional designers to get these assets. It's taken me months to prepare this, not to mention all the tasks related to editing the book. But I have everything lined up and I'm ready to go. Next step, go to Amazon KDP. I've already created a paperback book in Amazon KDP, this particular title. It's called C. Diff in 30 Minutes. And you can see that there's a paperback edition here and there's also the ebook edition here. There's a button right below it that says create hardcover. Click on that. And what happens with these processes if you already have the paperback edition in KDP? Basically what Amazon KDP will do is pull in the relevant information for the title, subtitle, edition number, um, author information, the description. So this is actually a huge time saver because I so that means I don't have to paste that information any, anymore. They'll ask you some questions about the copyright. You'll see some information about the keywords. So they're just pulling in the information uh, from the paperback edition, the, the keywords I use there. What I might do here is actually take some of the key, other keywords that I have and you can see I have a list of keywords right here and start uh, putting those in as well. Um, so I can see I already have some pretty good keywords right there. I think we're actually okay for that. So I'm just going to keep that as it is. Maybe what I can do is I'll change this one to stomach. And what this means is that the, uh, KD, the paperback and the hardcover edition will have slightly different keywords, which may influence the way the books show up in Amazon search and in other places. Uh, the categories, I already have those as well. If I wanted to, I could change I could change one or two of those just to give it a little bit more visibility. So what I might do is take a look at the nonfiction categories because this is a nonfiction title, just within health. And then I could try to find the, uh, the the relevant information to to put it under. So right now I have gastrointestinal, for instance. If I wanted to, I could change it to um, you know something else related to this particular condition. I think actually I'm going to keep it as it is for the time being. If I want to later on, I can change the category. So let's just save and continue. And then we'll go on to the next page. Now this is the page where you have to upload the files that you've already prepared. First question, print ISBN. I use my own ISBN. I do not recommend using a free KDP ISBN unless you're just getting started and you're pretty sure that um, you know th this is just your first book, you're just experimenting. If you're in any sort of publishing venture and you want to make sure that you control all the rights, all the metadata for your particular title, you really have to have your own ISBN. I have other, I, I have other videos about and blog posts about dealing with ISBNs. Um, there's some drawbacks to that because in the United States they're very expensive to rent. But I've done the I've done the process of actually assigning ISBNs via the U.S. ISBN agency, which is called Bowker. So I have my own ISBN, and here it is for the hardcover. Make sure you use the hard the correct one, hardback, and then paste that in. So the imprint, I do have an imprint. It's associated with the with the particular metadata and it is I'm just going to put in in 30 minutes guides I know what it is off the top of my head if you don't put in the right imprint like for instance you have a typo or maybe it's phrased slightly differently according to the ISBN registry you may get an error later on so just be careful that you put in the right imprint if one exists okay publication date I don't put this in because, to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure when it will be published. There's a couple other things going on which may impact that, so I'm just going to leave that leave that blank. 
Now this is important, uh, the interior and paper type. And this really you have to work with the templates that Amazon gives you as well as your designer to make sure you have everything set up properly. So this is correct, black and white interior with white paper. This is correct, six, uh, six by nine inch. Uh, bleed settings, bleed, that is correct. I have to change it to bleed, I should say. And then glossy. If you do not know about the bleed question, bleed versus no bleed, you need to talk with your designer about that and ask them about that. And if they're using the Amazon KDP template, it does have bleed in it. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. So that's what I have to do to make sure it works. If you don't have this correct, or for instance, you have the wrong size here, according to what the PDF is actually designed according to, like it's six by nine inches. And let's say I selected eight, five by eight inches, you'd also get an error message because Amazon runs it through some checks just to make sure. Upload hardcover manuscript. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm going to find the manuscript. It's in here. This is So this is the interior file. I opened it up earlier on. Just press open. By the way, this is basically the same if you're using a Windows PC or a Mac. I happen to be using a Mac, but the Windows, it would be the same thing. You'd be looking in File Explorer for the file. Okay, here, I don't use Cover Creator. I have a professionally designed cover. I'm going to upload a cover that I already have. Click that. And actually, you can see I've organized the files on my computer. So KDP Hardback, and here it is right here. So it might take a while if it's a big file. Now, another thing, so does your cover include a barcode? In my case, it does. So I'm gonna check that off. And one thing that they will ask you to do is to launch the previewer. I think you, you can actually submit the book until you've done that. Because, it, because the files that I have are actually a little bit big, it might take some time. So let's uh, see how long it takes to run through the previewer. might take a while and actually while we're waiting for that we can take a look at the metadata um, I did a very similar process when I did the paperback on KDP I just have a different ISBN and of course a different cover file I actually use the same interior press file for the for the um, for the uh, both the paperback and the hardback version this just saves a lot of time and the way that it works is if you look at the interior file on the copyright page, let's zoom in a little bit, you can see that I have a uh, PCIP block and it has the ISBN for the paperback, I don't know if you can see it that well, right here, and then also an ISBN for the hardcover and the ebook. So that really saves a lot of time. I used to have separate um, files for the interiors for the paperback and the hardcover, but that's no longer necessary. All right, let's go back and see if they're done. Still checking the trim size. It's taking a long time. Uh, the other thing that you need to have ready in terms of the metadata, we can talk about that, is the price. So I, you can see I've already set the price at $22.99. So on the next page of Amazon KDP, once I finish the checking the uh, previewing the, uh, the file, I'm going to enter the price. And that's the U.S. dollar price. And then there's Amazon will kind of estimate what the overseas prices will be. And I'll adjust that as well. And the reason why the hardcover and the paperback are so different in price. The paperback's $14.99 and the hardcover's $22.99 is because the hardcovers are more expensive to make. Even if you're using print-on-demand, using Amazon KDP, uh, for my paperback edition of this book, I think the cost is about $2.15. That's the cost of goods sold, the cost of printing this book using Amazon uh, print-on-demand. For the hardcover, it's about three times that amount, if not even a little bit higher than that. So we're looking at six or seven or even eight dollars for that so that's why the retail price has to be a lot different okay so it looks like the preview is ready and you'll see it like this and this should be familiar to you if you've used Amazon KDP uh, these red lines are basically to, just to make sure that everything's lined up for instance in terms of the uh, the spine let's actually go down a little bit to the to the ISBN so one thing you can do is actually just check to see if the ISBN is correct 0794, those are the last digits. And yep, 0794, that's correct. And then the price is also correct, 2299. Okay. And I've already gone through the process of uh, previewing this many times. 
Uh, so I, I think everything is in good condition by now. One other thing I might do later on, actually, is to um, download, uh, not download, order a proof copy. And I've done that for the paperback. So I'm just kind of quickly scanning through it. Because, I know, because the paperback is using the same interior file, this should all be correct. And everything is looking correct. By the way, something like this, you see how the clock is running outside the uh, printing area? That's by design. It's supposed to look like that. And that's what you get when you're working with a professional designer. These are all stock photos, licensed stock photos. Okay. So everything is looking okay on this particular book. And I'm going to click Approve. It's going to bring me back to this second uh, second page of the upload process. So I'm not putting in the publication date. Everything looks okay. All right, like I said, so the printing cost is going to be six dollars and eighty cents um, per book compared to two fifteen for the paperback edition. So let's click save and continue. Actually, the best part of this whole process is if it passes Amazon's previewer, that means the book should be pretty good, in pretty good shape. Um, okay, all territories, location where you expect the majority of book sales, Amazon.com, and then here I put in the price, $22.99. Okay, so this is the royalty that we'll get back. So it's giving me estimates for what the British pound, the euro would be. I always change these. I don't want it to be 1887. I want it to be 1899. Similarly, for the euro price, I'm going to do 22.99, and kind of go through and correct that. Uh, this is the Poland, I believe. So let's just actually, what I can do is 99, 99. I don't really get many sales in these other in these other territories, so. Okay. And 229.99. All right. Um, so I'm going to save this as a draft because I'm not ready to publish it yet. But once I'm ready to publish, I'd come back into this screen and click publish your hardcover book. There would be some additional checks. Sometimes they do find things, and then you'll have to correct them according to whatever they say. But that's basically how you do a hardcover POD book in Amazon KDP. I hope this video helped a lot. If it did, please like it and follow me on YouTube. And also, if you go to my website at leanmedia.org and click on blog or video, you'll see lots more posts and videos that I have about dealing with Amazon, whether it's KDP, Amazon Seller Central, or other programs. This is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.